Okay, Don back again. Um, I was looking at my mic. Okay, yeah, it's working. <clears throat> I saw something seemed odd, like it was moving when I wasn't talking. Uh, I'm going to get over here and sip. I, can, I still can't stream with OBS, but I can record with it. I'm going to go to uh, go to the desktop, get over here on uh, Simple Screen Recorder. And this is how you start every stream. Well, this is where it starts up, just like this. And you hit continue down there at the bottom. It starts up small, but I don't like it. I like to be able to see everything better. So, and then you go, and then uh, this is my actually misspelled simple and put sinful. <laughs> um, and this is the settings, and it keeps them each, each time. And then on my machine, I need to use the built in analog stereo to get my audio. And it does get. Uh, looks like well, I didn't listen to the video yet, but it looks like it was getting even by the meter. Uh, it was getting uh, when I played a video. I played a short video of mine on here, and it got so it gets desktop audio and the mic audio. And right now I'm using uh, OBS Studio, and this is my I made my own um, output settings and saved it, uh, and this is where I'm saving it. And I'm using them for the container. I'm not doing separate file per segment because that means when you pause it and then start it again, it makes a new file every time. Well, I just want it to be one long file. I like to add the timestamp. That way, the you know you don't have problems with the files getting overridden. I don't know. It might actually put a number there or something. It didn't say one way or the other. But I want the timestamp. It gives the day, day and the time. It's just perfect to help you figure out which one was first. You know. Uh, and then container other FLV because that is a lot good file uh, quality uh, for the size and uh, doesn't work my CPU or memory too hard. Codec H264 because that's what YouTube likes. It's the only stream uh, codec it will take, and that was the pr uh, the, the uh, default, so I left it on that. There's all these different ones, and this kind of OBS is kind of the same way. And what? Uh, let's see, I forgot. Anyway, my machine can do that at, up in that right in there. So I think actually on OBS it's on very fast. But uh, I forgot what that exactly means. Con con oh, constant rate factor. That's well, UB, uh, YouTube wants CBR constant bit rate. I think the higher it is, the closer it is to constant bit rate. Is what I think. I think the OBS was on very fast. I guess I could look, but I won't look right now. Let's see. Allow frame skipping. Yeah, that's probably better. That way, all you do is just like a jump cut, you know. And uh, codec MP3 bit rate 120. That's what YouTube wants. MP3 and AAC are the only two that I can do that they accept. I think. Was there any others that they accept? I can't remember now. I know they accept those two. And so uh, here's where you can see I missed the something in the oh, I'm already to the start screen. Uh, I missed the setup I wanted to do. Um, but uh, this will tell you, you know, how many frames and everything when you're running. There's the preview. You can see that right now. You can see my audio's working, <clears throat> and uh, and then you can use the hotkeys Control R to start and stop it. I'm um, actually it did stop it. I did it once, but it seems to like maybe it cut it off. I don't know. It, I didn't lose the video. I know that. And if you hit cancel, that'll you will not lose the video. It deletes your video you just made. So don't hit cancel unless you want to get rid of the video, which is what I'm going to do right now because. Save as, where is that? Oh, you go up here. Okay, so this is my output I saved. Now, I started originally using the YouTube, and I thought, well, that's too low of a bit rate. And I didn't think, uh, it was making a really small file compared to, you know, like OBS. It looked okay, uh, and maybe it could have looked a little better, but I, I know that's fine for uploading to YouTube, but then YouTube wants 3,000, is that 3, 1? One, two, three. Yeah, that's 3,000 kilobits. That's what they want minimum. So I clicked on that, and I thought, well, I'll just change that. And then it says, and it went to 
uh, instead of a local file, it's going to RTMP. And so RTMP is actually what YouTube uses, so there you go. Only problem is, uh, how am I going to put my uh, password file in there? You know, my, my stream key. You have to use your stream key. So uh, I don't know how that would work. Uh, I saw someone saying they saying that they got it to work, so I'm going to try it and see. Uh, since I'm logging into YouTube, I, well, that wouldn't matter, I don't think. I don't see how they could work. They must have figured out some way to add the uh, stream key to somewhere in this app. That I, I don't, Of course, I don't see another thing about it in here. If you hit continue, then, you know, there's nothing left. There's no way to add... Uh, authentication or anything let's just see what happens save recording you haven't recording anything oh right because I didn't do the right thing start buttons at the top okay so that's what happens when you do that start okay well it's counting up counting up like it's trying to work I think it stopped no well, let's go see if we're streaming on YouTube nope Not yet. I don't think it'll work. <clears throat> Unless it's like, oh, there it went. Can't open output files. Error, something went wrong during initialization. Yeah, that would be, can't log in. And now it stopped. So uh, I'd have to go back and look at that guy's post to see how he made that work but uh, yeah no we'll change that back to my I thought putting it on there might uh, what it did is make me have to reset everything but I did reset it and then I hit save so now I'll always be able to get back to my you know F, uh, FLV settings go back you can go back if you haven't gotten to that screen where the preview is and you can go back and look at everything and change things if you need to, all the way back to the beginning. But um, just want to make sure it was working now. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I did it again. Start recording. Okay. Now <clears throat> we're recording a desktop. I wonder if that's actually going to work. It's still recording the one I was using, I think. Or did it get killed? No, there it is. It's working. OBS. Can they actually both record at the same time? No. Yes, yes, they can. Because I'm still on desktop. Still got audio. I mean, I can't. I can't wonder until I watch the videos back, but... Uh, so here's my YouTube preview for my stream, live stream, which, you know, I'm not live streaming because I can't. Here's the files I'm making. I didn't want to try that before, but i uh, getting more curious here. Looks like it's working, unless the audio's dropped out. Uh, but that's not of any use to me. Now, if one would stream and the other one would save a file, it would be of use. It'd still be using too many resources, I'll bet. Audio samples with non-mononetic timestamp. That's weird. I haven't been paying much attention to that, so I don't know if that's an, what's been going on already. It's at 18% uh, and OBS is only at 13%. Oh, well, I changed those settings to FFmpeg. I might have OBS working a lot smooth, you know, easier on the system uh, by changing that to FFmpeg on FLV. Yeah, look at there. That's only adding up to 27, 20, 30%, and that's OBS gets over, hits 30% uh, fairly often. Now let's go see what happens when I get on cam one. Now they wouldn't be conflicting because one's on the desktop and one's on the camera. I don't need that preview. 16%, 13%.
Well, if nothing else, I'm learning about two apps all at the same time here. And uh, Cam 2. I keep flipping to that instead of to there. 16%, 12%. 13%. Okay, cams one and two. Uh, 17%, 13%. I have found a, I think I found a really good improvement for OBS as far as the, what it uses. Now, if they will either fix OBS or I can figure out what, what I've done to it. It's, if, if I've done anything, it's in the settings because now I've uninstalled and reinstalled. And, uh, one in desktop still looks well it's fifteen percent, fourteen percent, which would kinda make sense, you know, a to camera and a desktop. Two in desktop. And just because you do see the input signal doesn't necessarily mean you're recording your audio though. You can't tell that sometimes when it goes puts work in. Um that's not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so, and there's nothing else plugged in here on the OBS Studio, so I just think I'll go back to the desktop. And let's see, is that one still looking okay? Which one was the original one I started with? Oh, it was OBS, wasn't it? I guess I could tell by which one is the biggest file, maybe. Yeah, I guess so, 132 megabytes and 18 megabytes. Now that I'm using FFmpeg, it may not be so big like they were. Look, look how big all those were, and those were, I don't know how long they were. But usually a gig was, a gig was about, wait a minute, how long, what was what? Look at that one, 3.1 gigabytes, I'm not sure. I guess I'd have to open it up and see. I won't do that right now. But. Um, okay. <clears> okay. <throat> I'm going to, yeah, let's stop this one and then uh, stop OBS. <coughs> and then see, it goes like that, and then it says go back to st if you wanted to start again. And like I said, it does start up like that, and you could use it like that, but uh, if you prefer. So I'm going to close it this time. All right, so I'm going to. Hopefully everything is working on both of them, and uh, I'll, you know I can be able to hear. It looks like the video will work, but the sound I'm not sure. But uh, so I'm gonna go. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed. So I figured out some. I found a new application I can use to do desktop recordings because it doesn't do cameras and all like OBS. So I haven't got my streaming working. Still don't have anything that I can stream with. XSplit is something I used before. I may end up having to go try it out for a while until I go back to it again until I figure the OBS out. Uh, but, uh, yeah, okay, what I really need to do is uninstall OBS one more time, completely delete my profile. Out of, I think out of my home directory is all I want. The thing is, it could be... There could be, you know, profile stuff left behind in other parts of the system. Usually when you uninstall something, you don't have that happen, too. That's what's really odd. Usually when you uninstall something, you better save your profile stuff if you want it, you know, because it's going to be gone. Um, that's why I didn't even bother to try to delete any of it manually. This one didn't do that. <clears throat> so, um... Well, there is that, you know, that, I don't know. Yeah, that cleaner, I don't know, that cleaner program probably wouldn't have done it either. I have to figure out what the name of it is. It'd definitely be easier than try to manually go find all the folders, though. I think you might find them. It's kind of really meant to be running your home directory, though. It's dangerous. It's dangerous to run those cleaner programs in your root directory. You can break things really bad really fast. So, um... Okay, well, I'm going to go and uh, come back with, uh, I can't believe I've spent so much time this week on this. I want to finish my server and get it in the garage. I keep saying that, getting close, getting closer and then go back. But I just can't, I got so tired of having to spend three hours or four hours every day uploading videos. And really, I can't start streaming. And I was making videos while I'm uploading because, well, because... 
um, Firefox tends to sometimes act up. Right? It doesn't work as well on YouTube as Chrome does, but Chrome uses too many resources. I can't stand the layout and the way it works. And sometimes I just forget and I just close it because I'm, temp I'm just used to being able to close it when I need to or or like one day, uh, well, the other day I was in the middle of uploading a whole bunch of videos and I decided to reorganize, you know, ABC my bookmarks. Well, it, it started a unresponsive script error that wouldn't go away. <coughs> and I finally, about to, <coughs> I think Firefox basically locked up just about and finally just forced closed it because <coughs> I think it was slowing down the whole machine. So then I had to start over, you know. It was just a pain in the butt. It ended up taking me about all day to get everything uploaded. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, I'm going to go. See you later.